Hello everyone, this is Trish from Bird Feed. Welcome back. If you are new, I hope you stick around, get some ideas and inspiration for your OCC shoe boxes. This box is for a boy in the age group of 10 to 14. It doesn't really have a theme. I'm calling it berry red and blue because <laughs> It's mostly red and blue, and it's got a bear. And I wrapped him up tight with this bandana to fit him in this box. This um, bear I got uh, Dollar General after Christmas last year, uh, maybe in January, for $1.50. He had on a Santa hat and a scarf that was, you know, that was stitched on, and I just plucked it off and added a blue bow around his neck. He's very soft and huggable. And this young man also has to go with this red bandana, a really beautiful blue polo shirt, short sleeve polo shirt I got um, probably at the beginning of the, the year sometime at Walmart on clearance for a dollar. I hadn't planned on buying any shirts and I walked by this table, it had a dollar on it and I bought several shirts. Um, this These happened to be an extra extra large, a boy's extra extra large, which is an 18, which would definitely fit uh, one of the older boys. And then the shorts, from Old Navy are also an extra, extra large. And I paid, see it says $2.97 on it. They were on clearance and, and I bought them in January when I bought all the Old Navy uh, items I've been showing in my boxes for 30% off clearance plus uh, some gap rewards. So I probably paid half of that, like $1.50, something like that for these shir shorts. And I like them because they have an elastic waist and a drawstring and functional pockets. There's a pocket in the back. And um, that way, with all the uh, elastic and drawstring, they can fit even the, the smaller guys. I added a, a kaleidoscope. I've had this kaleidoscope actually for a few years. I bought it to go in a shoe box that I didn't put it in, it probably didn't fit or something, and uh, I still have it. So I'm putting it, and this is uh, one of those nice old-fashioned kaleidoscopes. I'm gonna put it in this box, because it's red and blue and yellow. <laughs> I included one of my recent finds on Amazon, um, which is the uh, these collapsible flying discs. This is the eight inch. I've used, I've tested them out and they they fly really well he's got a blue bouncy ball i get these on amazon buy them in bulk i also tossed in there a few um spiky balls in blue uh, he's got a stack of six hopping frogs and uh, hopefully he can come up with a game to play with his buddies with that I also included some dice, and I get these dice at um, the Dollar Tree. They come in a pack of 10, I think. Uh, I put six in here, along with some dice games. Now, the, unfortunately, the, everything's written in English. Um, that's just the way it's gonna be when you're printing them out from the U.S., um, but there are some fun games here, odd or even, big roller, guess my number, um, there's a fourth one in here somewhere, roll to six, and then I have this, uh, it's called the Dice Game, this was from a different um, website, but, um, and there's a lot of English here. But even if you don't read any of this, I'm hoping that when he looks at this, it'll give him an idea of 
how to play this particular game because it tells you uh, when you roll these combinations um, how many points you get. And so you can basically play the game from this. So hopefully if they can't read English or if they don't know somebody who, re re who can read English, um, they'll know some, I'm sure they'll know dice games or they can make some up. Um, I just tuck these in here eh, just in case somebody does read English. It's fun to have some uh, different games that you're, you're not familiar with. Um, and what I'd like to do is hopefully uh, before I drop these off um, for collection is to make a little drawstring bag for this. That would be nice. If I have time to do that, I will do that. It's got a solar calculator for school. A 24 pack of crayons. A red pencil pouch filled with pencils, pens, pencil sharpener, um, eraser caps, uh, paper clips, glue stick, and it does have a, it didn't have a blue um, highlighter, so he's got a green one. And that's for school. He's also got a drawstring back, backpack, a red one, for school. Got some um, race car stickers, which are really cool. They're, they're kind of raised. I don't know if you can tell that. Um, but they're, I think they're cool, cool stickers. Um, it's got a red soap dish with a bar of soap. A blue package. <laughs> I included a building block set. Um, this set came in this box. It's 135 pieces and it builds three vehicles, a um, semi-truck, a convertible sports car, and a race car. And so I just took it out of the box and squished the packages into this Ziploc bag and included the, there's step-by-step -step illustrated instructions. And it has on the front, it has this picture and on the back of the instructions, it has this picture. And um, so it only takes up that much space. So he's got a building block set. He's got a blue um, LED flashlight takes three AAA batteries and I've got replacement batteries in there. I get both of those at the Dollar Tree as well. It's got a pair of blue scissors. I included a couple of really schnazzy looking race cars, uh, a blue one and a red one. This one is very cool looking. I don't know if you can see that. They're both cool looking. So I think he'll get some enjoyment out of those. He's got a blue comb, a blue uh, toothbrush with a blue cap, a Let's Draw Big Machines um, uh, instructional drawing book, step-by-step -step illustrated instructions on how to draw all sorts of uh, things that go, trucks and planes and cars and boats. And then I included um, a plain paper sketch pad so he can practice drawing those. I also included a uh, Hot Wheels coloring book. And he's got a um, spiral notebook for school, a washcloth, and a red ruler. And that completes the 10 to 14 berry red and blue shoe box. So I hope uh, you picked up some ideas or inspiration for your shoe boxes this year. Time's running low. It's almost time to turn them in. So um, again, if you uh, enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time.